All right, uh, super quick update on the doof. Um, it's a fast project, but it feels like it's going slow, but I know it's only been a few weeks. So anyway, it got messy. Um, yeah. So here's the car. <laughs> I'll just walk along here. It's, it's chaos in here, I'm telling you. So the car is down to getting to pieces. Uh, the goal being to basically get it down to just the frame so I can weigh the frame. I'm kind of curious what um, my frame weight was so I can kind of use that as a budget when I'm designing and building a new one. Um, we had inside the car, if I can show this to you. So way down here, so underneath all this crap. Hold on, we're getting there. So down here, steel floor, more steel floor. So that piece in back was, I think, 3 16 so That piece up front was 3 8 It is stout, um, but that was ballast, and then we welded it in. So um, I'll incorporate that kind of into the frame budget, thinking that steel really wasn't doing us any favors. I mean, it was heavy, and it was low. That was its purpose. Um, but obviously we would have much rather had a frame that didn't fall apart. So that is the goal now, is to cook up a race car that doesn't fall to pieces, um, but it's still fast. So that is the plan. But first, we gotta clean that up. Man, I really did a number on this thing. Uh, last parts that come out are gonna be the front suspension. So those will be going soon. Don't mind this bag. You know, cleanliness, it's important. Later. Cleanliness is important later. Now it's progress. Progress is important. So, got a lot of work to do, uh, but just thought I'd throw out a quick update on the actual build, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, like I said, strip all the stuff off, uh, basically kind of get a weight, and kind of actually it would be good to know where the center of gravity is on the frame itself. And that way I can kind of do some calculations and when I draw it out on the computer, it will tell me where its center of gravity is, which I think will help. Um, and then on the flip side, on the actual build side, not on the design or construction side, I have to say thank you so much to Jeff Blumenthal, who is uh, life flighting me a <laughs> engine. Um, so we're going to, you know, like I said, the long-term plan is probably some version of the 600 cylinder engines that are allowed two strokes. Um, either the 593 or the new 593HO. Uh, it turns out the 593, the regular one, they're hard to find. Like, I've been looking around. I found one on eBay, and it looks like it's sold. So, um, you know, I'll just keep my eyes open and see if we can track one down. But the kind of plan is to use the 493 that Blumenthal is letting me kind of used for fitment purposes uh, because the 493 and the 593 are roughly the same size. So that will help me kind of gauge the fit inside the chassis. Anyway, uh, so thanks to Jeff. And I, like I said, this is gonna be a short and sweet one. Um, just a quick update. I clean that up. Man, who did this to me? That is rude. <laughs> Hi guys, catch you later.